go lay down. Good morning, it is 7.05. Um, Michaela just got done eating breakfast. It is the first day back to school from two weeks off for spring break. So happy day two of VEDA. It is day two, it is April the 2nd. So far this morning, I woke up at 5.30. I went outside to my tree house to um, do my journaling. I did my stretching, I did all of like my miracle morning stuff outside this morning which was so phenomenal like i was able to kind of sit out and see the sunrise so that was amazing um and i feel energized i feel ready for the day and i always do when i get up at like 5 5 30 and kind of start before before the sun so on the agenda for today i have a couple of phone calls that i need to make um the dmv being one of them I'm probably gonna have to do one of those callbacks because they literally take forever to answer the phone. Um, I also need to sit down and basically get my week planned out. I usually plan my weeks out on Monday. Um, Monday has kind of sort of become like my relaxed day. So as everybody's kind of getting back into the week and like pounding through stuff on a Monday, I take Mondays really, really, really easy because it's coming off of a weekend and I have kids. Mondays are not a day that I try to go like really super hard in the paint. I like to use Mondays to kind of uh, finish folding the laundry, get the house all cleaned up from the weekend, um, and get my week planned out, and then that's it. I'm kind of trying to vibe off a little bit of a new schedule going on here. I need to find a time of day that really genuinely works for me to fit in a little bit more exercise. And so, yeah, so I'm going to be working on all that, you guys. You guys are ready to see all of that over the next little while. But yeah. Sorry, is it fast? Here we go. Good morning. What? Where's my shoes? I don't know where's your shoes. I have to go take Mikhail to school. Get up on the couch, okay? Daddy's in the room. Get up on the couch and sit down. What are you making? I'm trying to make you. I know why you did it wrong. Well, no, you put the brain to a boil. He doesn't know how to make grits. I do know how to make grits. They make grits different now than they No, they don't. Not your same average grit. Quick grits. Why is it quick grits? How do you make quick grits versus regular grits? You can't even find grits anymore. It's just quick grits. This is why he always messes up his grits because he doesn't anything. measure anything. Because I'm a I'm a chef. I know how to eyeball. So there you go. The <laughs> measure. <laughs> no, sometimes you have to measure out your food. I made perfect grits the other day in the microwave. First of all, I did not make them in, in the, the microwave. microwave. I did not make them in the microwave. I made perfect grits on the stove. And I figured out what the correct proportion of measurements is for grits because I know it for rice. I make really good rice. Right I there. never it mess says up it rice. Right there. It does say it right there. And that's incorrect. So I that's mean, so I mean, if you <laughs> read the instructions, no, no need to read the instructions. 
I'm that's why his grits. <laughs> Watch Chef this. Green right here. Chef Green, that's me. So. Watch this. That's why his grits. That's why his grits. Stay are. tuned for the great grits. Stay tuned for his jacked up grits. They're gonna be too soupy. No, they're, they're gonna be Mommy, too thick. <laughs> they're gonna be thick like I want. What? I want mine creamy, thick, so I can put a lot of butter in them, some sugar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's hot? That's hot? You're absolutely right. Good morning. Good morning now. Good morning now. I know. <laughs> Mommy's right there. Mommy is right there. What are you telling me for? <laughs> she wants you. <laughs> Look at you hear him. Hi, Preston. Good morning. Why do I have to do You're it? handsome. What do you want? I am. I know. <laughs> Don't you want some cereal? No, I want No, I want milk. How's it going over there? What's the matter? <laughs> What's wrong? It wasn't, I wanted to speed this, so I turned the fire up a little bit. So. Daddy. Oh. To me, it was like going. Daddy. <laughs> what I'm doing, okay? What are you doing? It's all the greatest cereals. This cereal is so freaking good. It's s'mores, but it's like Golden Grahams and Cocoa Puffs and marshmallows. I put this pork in the crock pot last night and I meant to turn it off and I let it cook all night long, but it tastes really good. Like it actually tastes better than it did earlier when I tasted, when I gave you that piece. Now it's, it tastes really good though. I was concerned cause I let it You're cook all night. To advertise my creamy grits. He's over here talking about his creamy grits. Does this appear? What? <laughs> Does it appear to be creamy to me? Does that appear Let's to be see. Creamy? Grits. Creamy. Not gritty grits. Nice and creamy. Alright, who makes grits? Your opinion. Are those nice and creamy, delicious looking grits? And they, I put real butter in there. They're any of that margarine homogenized. They're stuff. fine. Are you gonna turn your fire off? Me, me, me. Rest. Are these let, good creamy looking grits? You have to let grits rest. Oh. So once you do that, so you know you gotta let them rest for about five minutes or so. Yeah, nice and thick enough, just how you want them, so they can actually sit on the plate and not run all over everything. That's all. <laughs> Did you think when you clicked on this video, you were gonna get schooled on how to make grits? A lesson in grits for you. <laughs> Thanks, lover. See, the thing why you gotta make really super thick grits because once you put the um, sugar, it gets all liquidy again. I made thick grits the other day. Yeah, you Ruin them! I did not ruin the grits. I put salt and pepper on them because I had shrimp and grits and I didn't want sugary grits with my shrimp. <laughs> just a little bit overly obsessed with the purple fabuloso. <laughs> so lately I've been using like a bunch of the different stuff that comes in for my Grove order and I love all of their products and they all just smell so good but honestly like my favorite 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 scent of all time for cleaning is Pine Sol. 
like something about pine salt is like absolutely amazing and um I haven't been using it a lot lately but I sniffed on some of that purple fabuloso the other day at the store you guys I've literally been wiping everything down fabuloso ever since Months old, so it's pretty much about time. Figure usually somewhere between one and a half and two years old, but definitely by two, um, at least with all of my kids, by two years old, they were definitely at least starting to go to the bathroom um, on the toilet, at least go pee on the toilet. So, probably not today, but sometime this week, I want to try to get a little bit of a potty training schedule going on and see if we can get this girl potty train in a couple days I might go on one of those YouTube videos that say you know potty train in two days and wholeheartedly and very diligently give it my all and see what happens see if we can make that happen hey Tux what are you doing my cat thinks he's a human he totally thinks he's a human Are you brushing? Ooh, good job, big girl. It's in the garage. Huh? It's in the garage. Oh, your tripod? Yeah, I need it. Oh. Well, I can't carry it. I need Daddy is taking a nap. See? No. It, it, it does not mean. Oh, sorry. Told you to watch out. Look at. I'm in the giant square. I was in the picture. No. All done? Are you pretty girl? Mm -hmm. I, gotta I think he wants some water. Whoa. I think Tuxie wants some water. She's sitting on the water spout. Look how he perked his ears up. Maybe. Look at Tux. Are you going to drink some water, Tux? Yeah. I'm not drinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Are you a beard? You have a beard? No. You have a beard? Yeah, I do have a beard. Oh my goodness. Wow. That means you're a man. So I have a beard so I can go in the driver's seat. Do you have a beard so you can go in the driver's seat? Yeah. Oh, okay. He has a beard. And big behind you. My turn.
So I was trying a twist out with the Cantu um, twist end locking gel. I feel like it did pretty good. There's like a couple of pieces where the ends probably need some help, but for the most part, it's looking okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Nelvi? Your butt is wet. I sat her in some water on the sink on accident, and now her butt is wet. I'm sorry, sweet girl. Hey. I'm sorry. Are you all wet? <laughs> Are you all wet? Nelvi, let me spill you. She look at it. She thinks she peed on herself. She didn't pee on herself. No, I said she peed with water on herself. <sighs> she didn't pee on herself. Daddy do that. Daddy didn't do that. <laughs> and so since it's Monday, I'm going to do just a little bit of planning out my week. Um, I usually try to do this on Monday, especially to fill in the things that are absolutely going to be going on. So, so the last two weeks of my calendar are actually really blank because I haven't been putting anything in them. But, um... Usually over here, I like to write down my miracle morning, the stuff that I need to do in the morning time before everybody wakes up. And then my to-do list for the day usually goes in here. And sometimes I try to split it up. I've tried a bunch of different ways to. What's the matter? Your toe hurt you? Yes. You hurt your toe? What happened? Mommy. What happened, sweet girl? That toe. Yeah, my toe? Mm -hmm. So I, I've tried a ton of different ways to kind of do this. So I have just like stuff that I have to do, things that I have to edit, other stuff I have to do. Um, back here I would put lunch and dinner, stuff I have to do, stuff I have to edit, and then my miracle morning. So tons of different ways to fill in planners and agendas but lists have been my saving grace and I know I tell you guys that all the time but the reality is keeping lists and keeping this planner really does keep a girl on track. I'm trying to get you to do this. Oh. Nelpie do this. No. Please. Come on Nelpie. Did you mess up on it? It's the day. <laughs> All right, we're the PJ Masks. So we have over here my to-do list. Um, I already know what I'm gonna be editing and stuff today. So right here, I'm still gonna put edit. Okay, so I basically got everything filled in for today. All of the stuff I need to do. I need to call the doctor. Um, I've already basically done my daily cleanup, my Monday cleaning routine, sort of, I guess. I'm going to work on fixing my office wall today, I think, because I'm looking at the pictures, and I kind of don't like the way I have everything on the wall. It feels kind of cluttery to me, which, you know, in a workspace, it needs to be, like, open and airy. Um, at 1230, I have some uh, time for the kids. Preston's going to be starting school later on this year, like, way later, like September or August, but... Um, with the girls before they started school, I did like a little bit of homeschooling with them and he already knows a lot, but I want to start getting him used to, um, taking a little bit of time out of the day to actually sit down and do schoolwork. And he's a little like all over the place. He's like a lot all over the place. So I think it'll probably also just be good for him to start, um, just, uh, like developing Mama. a better level of focus, I guess you would say. Um, so we're outside at 1, lunch at 1.30, and then when they go down for their nap time, I'm going to try to squeeze in that workout. I need to schedule out my pins for the week for my Pinterest account, and then um, I have some editing, some pictures to do, and then I'm going to be doing some posting to different social media. And then over here, I basically filled this one in already for everything because these are kind of like the things that Monday through Friday, they don't change. So every morning I try to hydrate and drink a ton of water. Some sort of meditation, stretching, affirmations, journaling. Um, I try to read something every day. 
usually it's an audiobook because that's the easiest thing for me to do but it's still reading a workout and then um, my daily clean which I did already too so those are all in there for every day and then I just put in here the stuff that I need to edit for today and then what we're gonna have for lunch and what we're gonna have for dinner and then that is pretty much it. I usually fill this in on a daily basis. So unless I have appointments or something that I know is going on, which as far as I'm concerned, this week is pretty empty. Next week I have some stuff to do. And I think Saturday I have something that I need to go ahead and put in there. But other than that, that's pretty much how I schedule out my days and how I function as a mom with two little people in the house with me every day and how I stay sane and all of that stuff. So planning, 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 planning. Get a plan, got a plan, have a plan, make a plan, do a plan. <laughs> plans are good. It's good to have plans and everything is not set in stone. Like, you smell like a stinky girl. Come on. Let's go change your bed. Oh, and that beautiful pile of laundry right there. Yeah, I need to fold that up at some point today. Come on, let's go, baby. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this video quits for today. I really just don't have anything else to film. Plus, I gotta edit and get this uploaded for you. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little snippet of our day today. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've vlogged daily that I feel like I don't even know. <laughs> I guess you just follow yourself around with the camera. Like, uh, I think I forgot how to vlog. But anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to head over to Instagram and give us a follow. We're at Official Growing with the Greens, where I will continue to be talking about my day today in my stories. So hopefully I will see you over there. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope everybody has a really great Monday. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Damn. Love lost. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one to help run me.